The first main starting material we have is the grass clippings, which I've just raked up from the paddocks around the area. So there's quite a bit of woody weed in amongst it, it's not just grass. And the second main material that we have is this macadamia litter that's been raked up from in amongst the trees here. So they're the two main starting materials as far as bulk goes. Then in the manures I've got uh, about a hundred kilos of powdered horse manure here. It's been put through the little wood chipper. And we've got the old poultry manure from the old chook pens. I don't suppose it's got a lot of nitrogen left in it, but it has been out of the weather all the time. And then we get onto the, the household vegetable scraps, which we've collected from our own households and from some of the uh, vegetable shops in town. And then we've got uh, coffee grounds. I've got about 30 kilos of coffee grounds there, which are pretty good. And we've got some other coffee byproducts, the husk off the coffee pods. Then I've got a collection here of woody weeds and sunflower stems that have pith in them and they've been put through the chipper so they're all nicely homogenised. And I've also got a nice collection of wood chips that have got mould through them and they've been treated with bakashi. And I've got a bucket of oatmeal that's got weevils through it and that should be nice fungal food too. And apart from that, we've got lots of cardboard and shredded papers that we've collected from the office. The cardboard's been soaked in water and then tipped out so it's not too wet, and the paper's going to have to be wet as we put it in. And that's about it for the starting materials. The pile that we've got here is vermicast, which we've been using for other purposes, but it probably wouldn't hurt to sprinkle a bit that through.